Hello and welcome back to the tribe. My fellow tribesmen, in this video I'm going to show you what you need for rain physics, how to enable it and how cars behave in wet conditions. Before we jump right in, I want to say that I am very proud to be your tribal chief and want to thank you for being with me in this great tribe with now over 20,000 subscribers. So thank you all and let's continue. As always, we are going to keep it fairly simple. First and foremost, you need rain effects to be able to have rain physics. To get rain, you need three essential add-ons, content manager, soul and paid version of custom shaders patch. I repeat, paid version of custom shaders patch. Free version of CSP does not include rain effects yet. Content Manager is a third-party launcher allowing you to manage all the content in Assetto Corsa more easily and you must have it installed in order to enable rain. The link where you can get it for free is in the description. CSP is a modification adding visual enhancements, optimizations, new weather and physics features to Assetto Corsa. You'll need the paid preview version of custom shaders patch from the link in the description. Sol is a free add-on for Assetto Corsa, giving you control over all the weather in-game while providing you with different weather conditions and day-night cycle. You get the latest version of Sol from racedepartment.com, the link is also in the description. I'm not going to deep dive in all the installation space of all these softwares, but I have two tutorials on the channel. One, a very comprehensive beginner's guide on how to set up your game from the ground up, which includes installation of CSP and Sol. And the second one, a guide for rain effects and how to set it up. I leave the links to those videos in the description. Now let us move on into the game and see how you can enable rain physics. Assuming you installed every add-on correctly, you go to settings, then to content manager, and then to drive. At the bottom of the page you'll see the checkbox allow to use patch cars data to activate extended physics. Without this box checked, you won't see the necessary checkbox in car selection menu, which is use extended physics. We check it and then go to the car selection and we will see the use extended physics checkbox. Once you check this box, it will change two things. One, CSP will alter your car physics once wetness and puddles build up on the track surface, which means your cars will slide and slip all over the place in rain. And two, you will be able to select rain tires for a limited number of cars, which will provide you more grip in wet conditions. These cars are Kunos GT3 cars and Kunos modern open wheelers such as Ferrari F1 cars and the Tatus. Now, three important things before we jump in game. First, this feature is still in experimental state, so it can somehow mess with your cars you have. I didn't experience any weirdness yet, but that doesn't mean you won't. Second, the checkbox use extended physics is a car specific setting so once you select it it will stay checked for that car and won't affect other cars. But don't forget to uncheck it if you don't want to have rain physics anymore with that car. Third, this feature doesn't work well with AI cars so I recommend you to experiment it in practice or hot lab modes. Now let's jump in and see how experimental rain physics are affecting grip. Grip loss in wet conditions are modeled surprisingly well for its early state. That means grip losses occur gradually as wetness and puddles accumulate on track surface just in real life. So you feel your car lose traction and grip once you drive over, brake over or turn over wet areas on the track. The loss of grip is increased of course as rain gets heavier and more water is accumulated on track surface. With slick tires on, cars become undrivable, which is totally realistic. Once you put rain tires on, you immediately feel grip and traction returning. Of course, it doesn't feel like you are driving on a dry track with slicks, but cars get drivable with rain tires and the challenge of driving in the wet is still reflected very well. There is much less grip, so you have to drive slow with occasional losses of traction and grip where you must counter but I can safely say that is certainly fun. And that's been it. I hope this information was helpful to you. If you like my content, please leave a like, a comment or consider joining our tribe. See you in another video. Take care.